Go. Here we go. Restart with audio. We are live. And through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Family, we are so excited to welcome you to the 2022 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference. Join us this evening for a special pre-conference event at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it's a webinar entitled Ground Zero, a conversation about reparations and the struggle for Black justice. Family, we want you to join us for that conversation this evening. It is free and open to the public. And then join us on Saturday. We welcome our seminarians to join us as we will be in conversation with Reverend Dr. Aubrey Hendricks. Uh, we are so thankful for him and his brilliant work. He is our 2022 conference dean. And then join us for our opening on Sunday, February 20th. Family, if you don't have your tickets for the Samuel Lewitt Proctor Conference, please go to our website uh, and do so as soon as you're able sdpconference.info. Registration will stay open through the week. So if you can only join us on Monday or on Tuesday, feel free to grab your tickets for the days that you're able. We love you. We cannot wait for a powerful week together in the virtual space. We look forward to being with you all week long and especially this evening for our special pre-conference event, 5.30 p.m. We'll see you there. Good morning, family. We are so glad that you're here with us this morning. Welcome. Today is Friday, February 18th, 2022, and we are right now at the door of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference for this year. And I hope that, as uh, Reverend Tiana said, that you have gotten your tickets. And then if you haven't, that you're getting ready to do it right now, because it's going to be just a wonderful feeding experience for everyone. So we're looking forward to seeing you. We say to you, Sal Bonani. We see you, we respect you, we hear you. You are important to us. And if there's nothing else that you learn or that I have learned as a recluse, I'm kind of a recluse, is that you can't do anything by yourself. You cannot do it. And so knowing um, that you need people and reaching out to people and letting them reach out to you is a good thing. So we're hoping that, I'm hoping that in this, in this period of time when everything is just so unstable and so crazy that you are reaching out to people and you are letting them reach right back to you. This morning, I'm going to Psalm 46, Psalm 46. Um, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, 
the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail, fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. God lifts God's voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what God has done, the desolations God has brought on the earth. God makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear. God burns the shields with fire. God says, be still. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. You know, so I woke up that morning with my, on my mind because if nothing else at a time like this, we need to call on God with everything we've got. And so we call on God. God really is our refuge and our strength. We are honored today to have as our prayer warrior, Bishop Leah Daughtry. Um, and I was over to, we are celebrating um, a throwback to uh, a people who have given prayers over the, the months we've been doing this. And Bishop Daughtry actually gave the prayer that you're going to hear again today on Election Day 2020. Um, such a powerful, powerful prayer that she gave. And, and after the results of the election, I feel like we got to have people like her or including her pray all of the time. We give God praise for her. She is one of the co-chairs of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, along with Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III. Um, she is a nationally recognized organizer, activist, political strategist, author, and faith leader, the, doctor of, of a, the daughter of a long line of community organizers and activists. Bishop Leah represents the fifth consecutive generation of pastors in the Daughtry family. A multifaceted leader with a gift for solving highly complex problems with remarkable speed and precision, Bishop Leah has a proven capacity to manage multi-billion dollar budgets and develop internal and external communication strategies. These abilities make her an, an in-demand consultant with invaluable expertise to organizations seeking exponential growth. She describes her ability to create calm out of chaos as a God-given gift, and everything she has accomplished is a reflection of that, give, of that gifting. Bishop Daughtry serves as presiding prelate of the House of the Lord Churches, the fourth in succession. Standing at the intersection of faith and politics, she works with community activists and organizations, political entities, businesses, and faith leaders and communities to assist them in building coalitions and partnerships that advance the common good. For her work with and within communities of faith, Religion News Service named her one of the 12 most influential Democrats in the nation on faith and values politics. She has also served as resident fellow at Harvard University's Institute of Politics, where she focused on the role faith and values play in American politics. She is principal of On These Things LLC, which supports a broad array of businesses and organizations with strategic planning, project management, and community engagement activities. In addition to a stint on Capitol Hill, uh, Bishop Daughtry has previously served as Chief of Staff at the United States Department of Labor, Chief of Staff of the Democratic Party, as well as Chief Executive Officer of the 2008 and 2016 Democratic National Conventions, making her the only person in Democratic Party history to hold the position twice. Bishop Daughtry is the co-author, along with Donna Brazil, Yolanda Carraway, and Minion Moore of the NAACP Image Award-winning for colored girls who have considered politics. In it, four of the most powerful African-American women in politics share the story of their friendship and how it has changed politics in America. Bishop Daughtry serves as an equity advisor for Sephora Inc. and is on the editorial board of Global Women's Forum for the Economy and the Society. She is founder and co-convener of Power Rising, which supports Black women in leveraging their economic, social, and political power. She sits on the boards of directors of the National Council of Negro Women and Higher Heights for America, and she is co-founder and co-chair of Black Church PAC, co-chair as I said, of the Samuel Dewitt Proctor Institute and co-chair of the Connection Committee and the Spiritual Oversight Committees of AKA Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. A graduate of Dartmouth and College and Wesley Theological Seminary, 
Bishop Daughtry is a native of Brooklyn, New York. From pulpits to public forums to political platforms in her own way, Bishop Leah, Bishop Daughtry is an alchemist, an electrifying speaker full of power and charisma. She transforms corporate teams, congregations, and communities for the better. Beyond her remarkable career, she's also a loving aunt, dedicated mentor, and renowned, renowned shoe queen. Amen to that. Um, so we are blessed. We're going to hear again the prayer that she offered on election day. I think it was November 3rd, 2020. Our minister of music today is our own Reverend Ozzy Smith. We're having music live so we, after his music. The voice, the prayer you will hear will be that of our own Bishop Leah Daughtry. morning beloved it is so good to be with you this morning as we join together in prayer as we go in prayer i want to turn your attention to the word of the lord as it is found in the book of jeremiah jeremiah the 17th chapter and we begin reading at the fifth verse thus says the lord cursed are those who trust in mere mortals 
and who make flesh their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, who trust is in the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious and it does not cease to bear fruit. Let's pray. Creator God, we are grateful to you for this day, this day that you have made one we have not seen before. And as we set our intentions for the day, as we come together in prayer, Lord, we thank you for this word that you have given to us. We thank you for reminding us of where our trust is best placed. We thank you for reminding us of who you are and that is in you that our trust should and must and best is placed. God, in this time of trial, as we journey through yet more days of COVID, Lord, as we give attention to our sisters and brothers and Texas and in parts of the South that have no water and that have no heat and can't seem to find a way or find the help that they need. God, as we are navigating our way through grief, as we are navigating our way through loss, Lord, as we are navigating our way through the daily tests and trials that come and would have come regardless of COVID, as we are sorting our businesses, as we are sorting our schoolwork, as we are sorting our relationships, as we are sorting our church work, as we are sorting our lives. Lord, help us to remind, to remember that first and foremost, our trust belongs in you. We cannot trust in man. We cannot trust in flesh. We cannot trust in handmade and man-made things. Our trust belongs in you. You are the one that gives us the provision that we need. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provide. Your name is provision. And in these times, God, we look to you for provision. You promised us in your word that we, if we plant ourselves in you, you will ensure that our lives, our work, everything that our hands touch flourishes evergreen. And more than that, God, you have put a hedge of protection around us. So even when drought comes, even when there are dry times, even when we seem to experience barrenness and lack, yet we flourish, yet you surround us, yet we grow, yet our leaf is green. And it is the, our leaf is green regardless of the circumstance because the circumstance does not fuel us. The circumstance is not our source. The circumstance is not what drives us. The circumstance is not what enriches us. The circumstance is not what enlivens us. So the circumstance cannot affect us because our source, our grounding, and our root is in you, God. And as long as we are planted in you, you promise that our leaf shall not wither and whatsoever we do shall prosper. So God, we claim in our lives, we declare in our lives that you are Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. You are Jehovah Roha, the God who is our shepherd. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who is our healer. You are Jehovah Nisi, the God who is our banner. You are Jehovah Sekenu, the God who is our righteousness. El God, and you are Jehovah Shama. God, you are there. No matter what we face, you are there. No matter what we're dealing with, you are there. Come what way, you are there. And God, we declare you 
to be these things in our lives. Your name is provision. Whatever we need, whatever we require, whatever we desire, God, you will provide it. You've declared it. We believe it. We trust you and we count it done. So God, we go through our day declaring that we are rooted and grounded and planted in you. Come what may, whatever winds blow, whatever trouble comes, whatever the phone call may bring, whatever the email, we are rooted and grounded in you. And so we continue to flourish. And so we continue to bloom. So we continue to prosper. And so our leaf remains evergreen. And whatever we do shall prosper. Remind us of your word, planted in us, rooted in us, grounded in us, that everything we do might be a reflection of your will, your word, and your way. We trust you, God. We believe you. And we count it done. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 better go on and play Reverend Ozzy. Oh my gosh, what a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still rocking in my chair. That was powerful. I will trust in the Lord till I die. Um, that's just a testament and a testimony. So thank you. And we thank um, Bishop D. Aaliyah uh, Daughtry for the, the, the God's name is provision. I'm just going to be shouting in my little spirit all day long because there's such a powerful feeding 
today. So we thank you. This throwback to the past and honoring our Black history, the history that we have and the history that we're making is um, just a wonderful thing. And so um, I'm just glad. I feel a whole lot better. I felt a little bit weary coming in this morning, but I feel like going on. So thank you very much. We invite you to invest in the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We, um, we can't do our work without you. Remember how I opened, how we need each other. I need you to survive. You need me, I need you. We need each other to survive and to do the work that God has called us to do. And I will always push that the, the word to use is invest and not donate because donate is like you're doing somebody a favor, you know, but invest means that you understand that you have a, you have a part in this, that you are, you have buy-in, that you know that what's being done will help somebody else and it'll help you too. So investing in something is a whole lot, sounds a whole lot better to me. So we invite you to invest in our work by visiting our website, sdpconference.info. Or you can go to Givelify and look for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. But I'm saying to you that when you decide, and I'm hoping that people will decide to do an investment on a monthly basis, the more you give, the more you give back, the more you give. That's just a law of giving, I guess. Whatever you give, you give love, you get love back. You give your time, you get time back. You give kindness, you get kindness back. You invest in the work of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference and you get stuff back, stuff that is life-changing and transformative. So we invite you to invest. Well, this day is coming to an end. This day of prayer is coming to an end, but our week is just beginning. We hope, as Reverend Tiana said at the very beginning, that you have already registered, but if you have not, you can still do it and you can register for the parts of the conference that you are ready, that you are able to attend. It doesn't matter. We just want you to come. We want you to come and let some drops now fall, some drops of blessing and, and, and energy and inspiration and knowledge to fall fresh. Everybody needs a, a fresh falling, a fresh falling. So we invite you to come. We invite you to tell your friends to come. We invite you to do this. And you know what? It's virtual, but we will see each other on the screen and feel each other's spirits and be fed because all of us need to be fed. So we hope to see you. We hope to see you again next Friday for our prayer service. And we hope that on today, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. God, take care of you. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.